Hi, I'm Elizabeth Tricasi, Life and Productivity Coach with a Clean Slate. And tomorrow is the day. The shoulder surgery I found out that I'd be having seven weeks ago, it's finally here. So all of this planning and practicing hopefully will have paid off. I wanted to recap what we've uh, covered over the last uh, seven weeks and then talk about managing energy and then some special um, skills. And, uh, um, you know, when I first started this project, it came about because of the um, not being able to use my right arm and so having to do things differently for a number of weeks. And so we started with shifting perspective. I went from having a this big disruption in life and turning it into an opportunity. And then we talked a little bit about uh, some scheduling mistakes that everybody makes and how to do a brain dump and how to intentionally schedule our time to do what's most important to us. And then you even got to see one of my saboteurs show up. And as I was reflecting back over the last seven weeks, what was coming up for me is, you know, way back in the day when I used to be a computer programmer, one of the jobs we had to do to test our program was to list, um, to create every test scenario we could think of that would break the program in a test environment. And, you know, that I, I think that's um, one of the skill sets that I have because of my previous life. But we all come, you know, we all live life with different skills. And I'm curious, what are your special, uh, what's your secret sauce? What are your special skills that you get to use in life that make things easier? And um, it's, it's important to reflect back on. The other thing that came up for me is a number of people have been asking me if I'm nervous and I'm actually not really nervous. And I think one of the reasons is because it's not a good use of my energy. I have you know, been pretty um, intentional with what I've been doing to practice and to plan and to prep for the surgery and then the after surgery. And at this point, everything's kind of out of my hands. And so it's not a good use, you know, I don't believe it's a good use for me to use energy on something I can't control. As I look back over the brain dump that I created back at the beginning of this process, I can see that the tasks that were solely in my control, I did really good on accomplishing. And I'm in pretty good space. Um, but the tasks that I was either dependent on somebody else or was working in tandem with somebody else, those ones didn't all um, get done uh, to my satisfaction at least. And I think with that, you know, what I want to ask you is, do you find that that happens to you? That um, something that's important to you that maybe you're giving up control, maybe it's a good opportunity to, to uh, take back some control. Maybe you have some opportunities that you can relinquish control. Where are you expending energy that, uh, you know, on things that you don't control? And is that a good use of your energy? I don't know, just something to, to think about. Uh, so um, I do plan to be back next week to share with you what, uh, what really has come up and what I didn't even think to plan for. And one, I, I really want, would like you to reflect on you know, what, uh, what makes you special and what helps you uh, get through the day to day? And then um, when you've given up some energy that maybe you don't need to, I'm going to leave you with that. And until next time, enjoy your journey. Thanks. Bye.